Getting a little smoky. Hey, what's up guys? It's your boy here, Tombstone, AKA the Scrote Goat. And I'm coming to you live from, check it out. I actually got a wood shop finally. See it? Well, it's not really a wood shop. It's somebody else's shop. And they're just letting me borrow it. And basically I just have rights to that table. I'm allowed to use that table because my garage is such a piece of crap and it has holes in it. Anyways, this keeps me out of the holes in the roof. So this keeps me out of the winter uh, in the rain and the different rodents that live in there that I have to share my garage with. So instead, I've got this, a table. All right, let's get started here today. What are we gonna make? Well, we are going to make a green epoxy table using some black walnut. Check it out, here's the black walnut. Let's look at it. It's this one, behind the dumpster. Don't worry, that's not like diapers and stuff. That's just kind of wood trash. But we got some stuff over here behind a dumpster for this guy. Uh, I think he's a tattooer, so he wants a cool table for his office. Let's get going. Okay, before we get started on this table, I like to visualize what it's gonna look like. And I do that by open, taking a picture of the table and then opening it up in the specialty program I have called uh, Microsoft Paint. So I zoom out here. Done. Look, just as easy as that. Now we've got ourselves the perfect table. Let's get in there. This is what we're hoping to get today. Perfect. Now that's a table. All right, let's get going. So we got a beautiful piece of black walnut. I don't know how thick, like, oh, here we go. One and three quarters, that should make a good table. All right, so now we just gotta, this table's gonna be two by four. So we have to, well, first off, make a straight area over here. So just get some sort of straight thing. You know what, I got it. Probably been better if I would have uh, moved this closer to me, but whatever. All right, that part's done. Good. Well, a little blown out. Don't worry, we'll fix that later. We're cutting that piece off anyways. All right, cool. Hey, Tombstone, what are you doing over here? Well, let me tell you. All we're gonna do is now we're gonna cut this piece of wood in two. This will be the left side of the table, and this will be the right side of the table. But to make the river or whatever, so we gotta separate it and make two different parts. So let's try running the track saw without the piece falling off. I don't know if that'll work. Um, I think I depthed it good enough so it won't go through to the table, maybe just a little bit, a little kiss. Okay, it's getting real smoky now. Okay, 
Okay, let's take a look. What we got going on here? Let's pick this thing up. All right, so here we go. Uh, split in two, perfect. Oh, f yeah, I definitely got the table there. It was kind of the only rule I had in renting this place was don't f up the table because it's really all I have rights to to use. All right, we'll keep that between us. And somehow I f***ed up the table and it's not split. Well, that's interesting. Okay. What the f***? Okay, some of the beginnings not cut. Well, we'll just cut it from this way. Yeah, okay, cool. All right, that worked. Okay, here we go. Here's what it's gonna look like. Um, I think it looks pretty neat. So it's exactly two foot across and then four foot. So then we just gotta imagine this with filled with ooze, all right? And then we got it ready to go. Um, I like the looks of that, it looks pretty sweet. Okay, up next, we have to remove, I don't know if you'll be able to see this, all this dumbass bark. It's the worst part of doing this. Because um, the epoxy won't really stick to that. I mean, it will, but what if it flakes off? You know, it could be problems in the future. So we have to basically remove all that on both sides. It's a huge pain in the ass. Let's get going. <laughs> Okay, and then sometimes this person will actually arrive to work. <laughs> Just for a half hour. Good, perfect timing. You missed everything. Was I was out here working really hard. I went shopping. Doing... What'd you get? Clothes. Did you get me any cool, cool guy clothes? No, I didn't have any. Are you good... crying? No. Do I look like it? Yeah. Oh, no. Okay, good. All right. <laughs> yeah, she hates coming here so much that she was crying on the way in. <laughs> So, all right. Okay, here we go. Back to Sandy. Okay, so she finally shows up, and all she does is she comes here to look at uh, Instagram videos of dogs. Not online. dogs. Our dog, who's at school right now. What's he doing? He's doing a downstay on random objects at Home Depot. Oh, look, wow. and then he's doing a downstay on manure. What's he doing? <laughs> What? Look at this is what she's training him? How to yeah. lay around oh, on look. shit? And then he's getting a bath. Oh, good. All right. Oh, look at him. He's so cute. All right, back to work. Did you see this? Me? Yeah. What? What? It kind of looks like a butthole? Yeah, did you notice it? No. Isn't that pretty cool? Yeah. Should we charge extra for that? <laughs> Well, it's going to be covered by epoxy. Oh, yeah. Should we change the whole design of the table? So I think it should be more featured, like, up. butthole related. And if, it, if we could get the epoxy to come out of it, like it's an oozing butthole. What about this? It's kind of like a nipple. Mm hmm Yeah, it's cool. Okay. Good ideas. <laughs> Who wants it? Okay, we got the insides all cleaned up here. Actually, it wasn't as hard as I thought. Uh, you just want you just want the wood. You don't want to put on bark or I don't know what they called in tree, like the silver skin in the back of the rib. Oh my god! Okay. All right. All right. Okay. Oh boy. Anyways, like silver skin in the back of ribs. Um, I don't know. It's the film right before it gets the bark. All right. Now I like it the way it looks like this, but Krista wants to do it this way. She thinks it looks better like, like that. Better like that, because then you get two okay. angles. Yeah, I think she might be right. Okay, up next. So before we can actually do the epoxy, the pouring of the epoxy, we have to put some temporary epoxy. I don't know if it's, it's on there forever. All right. Um, we have to coat this, the insides there, with some quick drying 24-hour epoxy. 
And the reason you do that is to prevent the bubbles, because there's secret bubbles in this. This thing is filled with air and just small, old, ancient farts, ancient wood up. farts. Yeah. That once you pour the epoxy in, all these bubbles will start coming up. You could you can blast it with the fire. You could do all your heat gun, all you want. Bubbles will come out unless you seal it up first. So we're going to seal it up with some 24-hour epoxy, both sides. Then tomorrow we'll do the pour. And this is day one. Well, no, we're not done yet. Oh, I'll say that later. Okay, at this point, we're just going to cover this. Ooh, we're just going to cover the different things in this ooze we've created. Epoxy. Epoxy. And just do it by hand, probably just spread it on the hand. There you go, nice coating. That's it, but they'll give you an idea of what the wood's gonna look like when we finish it. It's Beautiful. Cool colors. Beautiful. And it doesn't really matter, I mean, it kind of matters. This is actually pretty upsetting to me, but I don't want to do about it. Because um, now it's kind of on the wood. But I'm gonna have to sand yeah. that off anyway, so I guess it doesn't really matter. No, it's just, it doesn't at all. It's just, I mean, that's. I know. It's just I'll... very upsetting. Do you want to do it? No, I don't have gloves. I wasn't, you could, I wasn't given gloves. Given gloves? They're just... Where'd you get those? Over there. We don't have rights to those. I'll replace them. Okay, now we're going to fast forward to tomorrow. Now, uh, in starting this YouTube channel, I reached out to a guy and I asked if he could make me some cool segue music uh, for in between scenes. And I guess he didn't understand what I meant because he made sounds that... It sounds like... Uh, the things that go in between home improvement scenes. So, um, what's wrong with that? It just sounds wrong. I was trying to go for more like a cool guy thing. Is that not cool? Well, it's just so you'll hear it, and so here it is. Okay, good. Hey, what's up, guys? It's your boy here, Tombstone, aka Big Daddy Longballs. And you can see, uh, it's now day two of the green epoxy table build. And you can see that we've moved from the wood shop that I've rented, uh, and we've had to move it down to the epoxy dungeon, my basement, okay, here. Uh, so there we are, beautiful basement. Uh, we decided to do it in the basement because it's... Because it's more cramped, and I think that's what makes <laughs> that's it kind of... That's your It kind of makes it more fun to get really hot and, like, pissed off about it. But the real reason is because the temperature here is regulated to, you know... A perfect 65 degrees at all times. Not in the basement. So uh, we do this because we don't want the temperature to be going up and down. So let's get going. Okay, as you can see, we have uh, we have coated the outside, like I mentioned before, and edges, uh, edges, and uh, apparently a lot of the top, which usually not ideal. Um, I wouldn't do that if if I was doing it, but maybe uh, next time you can do it then. So um, anyway, so now we just gotta first things first. We gotta scuff this up. We gotta have the new epoxy we're gonna pour in here. We have to just scuff it up so it has something to grab onto, all right? So so as you can see here, you just just kind of ruin it. Like if it if you feel like it looks nice, ruin it a bit. Alright? Scuff it a little bit. A lot of people ask, you know, important question. Is it dangerous? They go, hey tombstone. Is it dangerous to pour epoxy in your basement? <laughs> The answer to that is, we don't know. Yeah, it's right next to our furnace. So if that's a fire hazard, not sure. Could it be, you know, could the air be sucked in and just kind of give it, push the different epoxy uh, poisons throughout the entire house? Well, if, if it is, we're all getting it at the same time. So we'll all go out at the same time. You know what I mean? So what, you don't like that? It's probably just giving, us, giving us cancer. Little mesothelioma. Okay, Chris has scratched the shit out of it. So good. Good. We got it in this uh, purpose-built tray here, which is great. It makes it a lot easier than having to make a mold every time. Um, but the problem is, well, I'll show you the problem. We've got it clamped down. Now, the only problem with this mold is, if you don't clamp the absolute shit out of it, this part will raise up in the middle a little bit, and uh, it'll just make a bent. A bowed table. A bowed table. Then you have to really sand the crap out of it and plane it down to make it... And then you end up with a table that's about a half inch thick. So, just clamp the crap out of it. Another thing, I mean, this epoxy is sticky, so we got we got stuff just glued here. That, that's <laughs> permanent now. Uh, Krista, at one point, this is the official epoxy drill because she. I don't want to talk about it because it's upsetting. After she mixed it, she set it like this to dry, 
Well, it dried the bit into it. So now this is the official epoxy drill because this bit will not come out, right? Correct. Yes. All right. So now it's time to mix. Let's get to it. All right. We're using liquid glass. Two to one deep pour epoxy. So we're going to put two parts of A and then one part of B in there. And we're going to be using four gallons today. Now here's a little trick from a pro. You stab it little speed hole all my all my dad has know about a speed hole you know what I mean well, so you just kind of poke it I don't think that's the best place to poke it because it's not the best place to poke it it's very thick there yeah <laughs> okay all right it's probably not a good thing to use either we have a box cutter where it's on the ground over there oh that's too far away Okay. No time. Okay, so this is my pro tip of the day. Knock all the epoxy over. <laughs> look at that. Look at it flow now. It was about empty anyway. There's enough flowing? Or is that it? That's it. Oh. It took so long it was empty. Okay. Okay, now we're mixing. And I know I showed you the Porter cable drill that she ruined, but she decided now to use the good Milwaukee drill. This is the one you gave me a battery for. Yeah, so now hopefully we don't ruin this one. All right, so now we just mix. You gotta mix for sure in five minutes. And how? Because it's cloudy right now. You yeah. Want it to be clear. So when it looks like a a hot load, I guess, right? Clear? No, no. When it looks like a hot load, you're not done. Oh, correct. Yeah. So once it goes clear, then then you know. Yeah, it's cloudy, and then after that, then you add your colors in. Okay, so for this part, wait the light behind you is no good well now you're further from the light i thought you wanted me away from the light it's behind you we need some we need a light on your there you go <laughs> okay much better okay looks great this will work yeah all right okay so uh now it's time to put the color in it's kind of it's pretty much clear we got we got a little bubble we scum bubbles. we'll, we'll, we'll bubble worry about scum. that later we'll worry about that later all right so uh chris is in charge of all the color stuff because when I first met her, she introduced introduced me to Pantone. <laughs> I didn't even know what that is. If you give I'm me a PMS color you want, I'll match it. I'm still not even sure what Pantone is. Apparently, they're it's like the color experts. They're, they're in like, charge they of just colors. Decide. They get to What's decide. What's the color of the year? They'll tell you. And Krista is like Rain Man with color of the year. She could name them off for the last 25 years. Let's go. <laughs> 1998. Go. No. no. Okay, so we're going for like a foresty green. Here's what the the client has sent me. Uh, he says he wants this color green, not like a secret of the ooze, which I had recommended, but he wants kind of a foresty green here. So I think this is going to be closest, but we're not going to have enough. That's okay. We got, so I don't good. like the liquid ones anyway. I love the liquid ones. It doesn't add enough depth to it. I like it. Personally. So that's the whole thing. More All right, now this is where it gets fun. It's gonna be wild. All right. I already pulled some colors, so these are the greens I'm going to use. They're obviously too bright, so then we'll throw in some gray, some black. Hope that works. Hopefully, or it's, we're out a lot of money. Or we convince the client after that this actually looks cooler, and that's a, that's always a good way to say it. Like, actually, what you wanted was stupid okay she just poured the whole thing in. no i did not look, oh, oh not okay it. felt like it all right a lot of a lot of other people use like a, some sort of device yeah they'll get like a yeah. they'll use a coke nail okay i know that looks pretty gross but we i think we nailed it gross why would it look gross it looks like a swamp i don't know it looks no, disgusting it, it looks like the a really used porta potty no yes it does all looks right. Beautiful like leaves. Yeah, it looks great. All right, now it's pour time. Jesus. Here we go. Oh my God, that's heavy. This is the money shot. And this is also the fun part where you find out if you made enough. <laughs> All right. Oh yeah. Oh yeah. Cool. Did we make enough? Cool, that's a good ass sludge. Okay, up next we gotta get the bubbles. 
Can you just you take a just your average heat gun? All right? That'll pop him. There we go. And um, so now the epoxy you have about what'd you say, eighteen hours to swirl it? Twenty-four. Twenty-four hours. So this is the final form. This is what we're gonna let it sit, and then uh, it'll start getting goopier and gooier, and then you. Uh, and then we swirl so it doesn't have just these weird. It just looks kind of blah. Okay, it's been about twenty-four hours. Would you say a little bit less? A little bit less. We uh, here's pretty late last night. here's where the table's at right now. Uh, so it looks cool, but I don't know. I like a swirl. To me, it seems like the inside of a body for some reason. I don't know. Oh like, yeah, like two kind of lips. Okay. And then a tongue. Uh huh. Is what I'm saying, like a mouth. Very cool. Yeah. Yes. So this is kind of the consistency you want. You probably want to zoom in on this. So okay, let's zoom in. Oh yeah. Like goopy. It's a goop. All right. So I'll just start right here, but I just want to go and kind of just do whatever, you know, wherever, 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 wherever your heart takes you. Exactly. But you just want to do that throughout the whole thing and then hit it with the heat gun again. So you just got to do this. It'll resettle itself because it's still not, I mean, it's still, it's still some time. So yeah. do the whole table. All right. That'll be it. And then we let it sit for seven days. We'll be back in seven days. For day three. Seven days from now will be day three. Yes. It's about 23 days later, which means we are now on day three of the green epoxy table build. So this thing's been drying here. Let's check it out. It's been drying a lot. Really dry now. It's hard as a rock. Now we just got to take it out of the mold. All right, so basically, self-explanatory. We're going to pop these up. Now, it's best to have like a rubber mallet, but I don't have one anymore. So you just gotta rain down your fist. Man, that hurts. Oh, boom, came right out. All right, we gotta take this to the wood shop now to flatten it. Let's get going. Okay, we are live now, recording this for pre-recording for later, and we're about to flatten this table. And the reason it took like 25 days is because I had to build this thing. Woodpecker slab flattener. It was pretty pricey. Uh, I did this, I spent a lot of money to save money. Big business brain idea here. Uh, usually with the tables, I was spending $75 to go to a place that had a huge stander and push it through. What's well, 75 bucks? Look, I'm trying to get that, trying to get that bread, right? You know what I mean? Uh -huh. So, instead of paying $75 every time, I thought, why don't I just spend a bunch of money and then I can use this like once or twice and then after I use it like, after I use it like a thousand times, I'm basically printing money. So, okay. Uh, what it basically is, is this thing is just a router here. Uh, and it's going to, and it's all flat. The whole thing is, this baby's gotta be flat. The table's flat. These rails are flat. Everything's flat. Now this router just dangles. Right Never used it before. So this will be fun. I did get it used uh, from somebody, so. Um, all right, let's get going. Let's see how this thing works and if it will work and if I made a good investment. Okay, step one, we're having some problems understanding what this is. Huh? Already? Well, do you, you're not helping, you're just sitting. I don't know how that works. Cutting so a I, dog. I hurt my back. Yeah, so what? So what? I made you carry this table up three flights. What's the big <laughs> deal? Get over it. Um, I'm supervising today. So these are supposed to go in there. And they're supposed to be up like this, like it's supposed to grip and hold it. 
and then I screw it in and then it just falls. Um, Alright, so it's supposed to be like that. And then we, see this part's supposed to grip down here. Alright, and then you don't want to go too high because then the router's going to hit it. Oh, that's good. Oh, good. Okay. I'm able to make... Ow! Fuck! That was stupid. That was stupid. What happened? I screwed my finger to the tape, kind of. What an idiot. God damn it. How am I doing it a second time? <laughs> Let's try here. All right, looks good. Cool, so that's set. This thing won't move now. Okay, um, now here's how you attach the router dogs, I think they're called. All right, um, so you're gonna put it this way, actually. Starting off, you're gonna put a screw there. This will prevent it. Now this is really smart here, this is important. It just, uh, you're going to prevent it from moving back at all. It's called, I think, Slip Dog. All right, so we put that there. That's locked in now. Uh, and then we're going to put one here to really send it on home. This is an important, important, important part of the process I just learned from watching a YouTube video of somebody else. Okay, it's pinch dogged. All right, that's in. Good, and once we do the other side, it'll really pinch it in there. So that's pretty smart. That's a smart little device. Um, I wish it came with an instruction manual, in all honesty, but it well, didn't. Well, you bought it used, so... I bought it used, so it didn't come with the instruction manual. So that's actually on the person I bought it from. They should have mentioned how to use that. So, all right, cool. So I'm going to raise the router a little bit. Actually, I'm just going to push it down to where, to where we're feeling table. We're feeling wood. All right? Oh, done. That's it. We're just gonna do a real simple pass the first time. Should be pretty easy from here. Let's get going. Okay, this is it. Don't get scared now. getting stung by a million bees. Okay, that's a cool little invention. All right, but look how flat it is already. Look at it, perfect flat line. Uh, we're, gonna, we're gonna at least have to do a second depth here, so we already know that. Okay, now here's a big, big brain tip idea. All right, sleeves down. What do you think of that? Yeah, like I told you. I couldn't hear you over the, um. the whirl of the machine. Okay, so turn this thing on. Oh, man, it hurts! Jesus! A couple more passes there. This is going to take a little while. I can only take so much abuse at a time. All right, I'm going to need gloves and a mask of some kind. This is just going in my mouth. Well, it's flat though. It's real flat. And that's really all that matters. Okay, enough with bitching. Let's go get some gloves. I'm noticing a slight issue here. So when I went, when I'm going this way with it, it's clean. We bring it back. It's adding all these little dots. I don't think I'm gonna be able to, all these little thousands of divots. I don't think I'm gonna be able to sand that off. It looks like pores. Um, okay, that's gonna be, that's gonna take, make this take longer. Again, all because we wanna save $75, right? Mm -hmm. Is $75 worth it? per table. We should probably just mark up the tables. Yeah, <laughs> that actually probably would be better. So if anybody wants to buy this from me, let me know. Uh, woodpecker used half of a time. All right, we'll be back tomorrow with gloves. Okay, we're back for day 32 of the simple green epoxy table build. Now we've got some, I couldn't figure out the hard hat. Um, there's some sort of net that has to go inside of it and I couldn't 
couldn't solve that. So. Why, why do you need a hard hat? Stuff's flying. All right, now it's time. Uh, because basically this thing is a bee sting simulator, we have to figure out uh, some sort of, I got some flame gloves that look pretty cool, they're pretty tough. Um, and now we're just gonna go back to what we were doing before, but now with protection. Let's get into it. Okay, now I know it's not a great idea to have probably gloves on when you're using a router, but as long as my hands are over here, nothing's a good trap. Why don't you get smaller gloves, like tight gloves? Because they have to be thick. What are you gonna use rubber gloves? Not rubber, but just like winter gloves or something, like thin, thin, tight. You know, you could have said this before I bought them. It's easy to look in the rear view and play Monday morning quarterback here. All right. So it's turned on. Okay, the first round is done. Now, we have to move on and do it a second time. Okay, Chris is in charge of vacuuming. I think the hard hat might be a little bit overkill, but... It doesn't stay on. Aren't you well, there's a net thing. I can't figure out how to put it in. Where is it? Don't, just, we've got a vacuum. That's, it's gonna, that's gonna be an hour-long process to figure that out. Okay, here it is after round one. Turned up pretty good, I'd say. I mean, basically what I wanted. Um, I don't remember, I remember I said I wanted to push it one way. Don't remember the way I wanted to push it. Um, but anyway, so now we gotta get down to, so it all looks like this. We gotta get down flat with the epoxy. So hopefully one more round will do it. We don't wanna overdo it. Uh, if you have any tips on how to construct a hard hat. I think I figured it out this person's by having guessing. This person's having quite a little problem. No, I think quite an issue over there. No. Okay, put it on. Yeah, that looks normal. It's <laughs> It's 10 you look like a cone head. Looks like you're wearing this a right? It looks like you're a huge fan of Legos and you're wearing one of their hats. <laughs> okay, so yeah, she figured it out. All right. I don't think that's right. That's It's 10 feet above your head. <laughs> Let's see what we did wrong here, or what, how it did. As you can see, a lot of little divots. Uh, and this isn't really the flab slatteners part, like problem, you know? It has nothing to do with... It? Well, it could be the bit, because it did gray in the wood. The wood, it's great. Yeah, that feels pretty smooth. It's pretty smooth. It's this. It's the epoxy, it didn't really do. So I don't want to 100% blame the flab slatner. Um, flab slatner? Slab flattener, okay? <laughs> Did you fix that, the yeah. hard hat? But we still have to do the other side now because the other side has a whole case. It's encased in epoxy, so we have to do that. Um, but the other side's the underside, so we don't have to really care as much about it. Um, unless you're the guy buying this, then we're gonna absolutely care about it a lot. Yeah, I was gonna say, could you be saying that? No, no, we're gonna care okay. a lot, just not as much as the top. Uh -huh. But we're still gonna care about the bottom. Yes, maybe we need a different fit. We could just need a different bit. Do we need to maybe look into this? Yeah, maybe we need a different speed with the bit. What kind of bit do we have going right now? Is this thing unplugged? Let's yeah. look at it. We have a one inch dual dual carbide. Who knows what those did things you are? Just, this is brand new. That's a brand I know, new bit. No, but did you just pick to use this? Like, should you have picked something else? There's one with three of them. We also have, I don't know if that makes a difference. Three little things. Um, all right. Before I even flip this over, I'm just gonna see if I can sand it out to see if it makes any headway at all. Okay, so I real quickly just went through a bunch of grits, went through 60, 80, 120, 220. Not trying a lot to see if we can remove the divots. Now we're gonna wipe it off, see if it worked. Well, not, the, I didn't do the wood. Oh, you did it? Yeah, I just did the epoxy. Oh. Yeah, looks good, right? Yeah, yeah, that worked. Okay, it's time to do the underside. 
No, let's go to higher. Should it go higher? Higher? No, I mean the speed. Oh, okay, try it. Just a little bit. Well, we're at, we had it at five, it goes up to six. It's probably gonna hurt more when it hits you. Oh, good point. <laughs> Okay, so turning up the speed actually seemed to help. Oh, hold on. Sorry. Okay, so turning up the speed actually seemed to help a lot. This one, I mean, that's a good path. This, not so much. I also feel like if I go forward, it's good. Actually, I don't know if that's a forward or a backwards. That's the problem. Good, looks good. Pretty happy with it. Up next, we're gonna square it off, make a plum, and run through the table saw. Okay, this is the fun part. We get to run it through the table saw, and then on the other end, we're gonna have muscles over there be grabbing it. All right? With a bad back. With a bad back. So, perfect. We did it. Now we're going to use the track saw to cut off this side to make it square. You might be asking yourself, hey Tombstone, why come you didn't use that the first time to cut off the sides? It's a great question. I guess mostly it's because I forgot that I had it. So now we're going to use this and probably should have definitely used it before, right? You think? Yeah. Oh. It's been way easier. Really? Yes. Oh. Okay, an interesting angle here. Yeah. Backwards. I kind of feel like I am. I should be on this side. I should be over there? Yeah. Okay, pause. Or. Wait, this is the same. Or maybe over here. Yeah, here. Here's where you should be. Okay. Okay, let's move that table. Let's see. <laughs> Can you f you can't flip the track saw. Well, I can flip it, but then the track's not riding on anything. It's floating. Oh. See? That's the problem, huh? Hmm. Well. <laughs> what are we doing wrong? <laughs> Seems like a real simple. This is a little, this is a little vexing puzzle here. Huh? <laughs> got, our, got ourselves a little pickle. Okay. <laughs> if I was on the table, if I was standing <laughs> on the table, I could do it. Oh, here it is. I got it. That's what you want. Yeah, I figured it out. Guys, we solved it. <laughs> I did. Now we're just gonna run through the grits. We're gonna go to 60, 80, then we're gonna stop. Uh, and then I'll see you guys for day four in like hopefully more quicker than two weeks. Okay, we'll be back. Hey, what's up guys? It's your boy here, Tombstone, AKA Big Daddy Longballs. And we are on day four of this green epoxy table build. Now this is a real special day today because uh, as any good woodworker knows, 
it's best to just hire somebody else to do it. So we've got Quinn here today. He's going to be actually lasering this table, this uh, customer, they want their logo in there. So first we were gonna CNC this, but uh, Quinn CNC machine, I'm pretty sure it runs on steam. That's it's right. so old, so uh, we don't have any steam here. So instead, he convinced me that we're actually gonna laser this guy's logo in. And again, he knows what he's doing, so I'm just gonna sit back. Yeah. This takes a fine touch. Okay, a, I'm sorry, a refined touch. Oh my god. You just want ever so slightly. Just a little Well, just a little. Just a little tickle. Okay. Quinn, you burnt the shit out of my fucking table. <laughs> That's okay. That's fine. No, it looks great. That's so. the way it's supposed to be. Okay. It's lasered. Actually. Here, I can't do this. Put it down I look I fucking, I look just stupid in the hat. Krista picks me out clothes sometimes, <laughs> and she picks this hat out and says I look really good in it. And I think it's mostly because she doesn't want other girls to think I'm hot, so she makes me wear these embarrassing clothes. So. You've been asking. I want to be a hat guy, yeah. For but, a hat with a rope on it. But she won't. we had some at work. Okay. So I got it for you. So. Sorry you're unappreciative. No, I just look, I look, I look. Like I'm going to my first baseball game. Wow. Okay, it's time. We've lasered out the logo. Now it's time to fill it with some epoxy. Uh, so we brought Krista in to do that. Let's get going. What about me? How do I look? No, you look militant. <laughs> it's not good. It's yeah. not? No, you look like um, that lady from Red Alert. Shake it, baby lady. <laughs> Shake it, baby. Came out really good on that laser. We're just going to fill it with some black epoxy. Uh, and it's up to her to mix it, so we're just kind of waiting. This is tabletop epoxy, which is a little different. Uh, this is a one-to-one -one ratio. It also dries in 24 hours. We're going to let ours sit for two days, but which is 48 hours, in case you don't know that. Okay, that's a pretty good start. Oh, yeah. Okay, cool. Oh, yeah. Cool. Yeah, you want to try to get it in the parts that we lasered. Mm -hmm. Have you ever colored? Have you ever heard of in the lines? Are you aware of that phrase? Do you want to try this? No, I'm holding the camera. I can hold it. I don't know. Not with this. Not with these steady of hands. <laughs> for seeing what you're doing here. Oh yeah, this is like what Venom's made of. You know Venom? No. The guy from Spider-Man. Symbiotic suit. You're not aware of that? No. Pretty famous comic book. I don't read comic books. We don't have to read the comic book. I mean, just pretty famous kind of villain. It's made of ooze. <laughs> okay, so we don't have a heat gun, but Chris has come up with a good way to kind of get the bubbles up. So let's go no. ahead. Yeah, go ahead. So let's see if that works. They did. They're popping. Right. Okay, so I'm going to do it here. You need to help though. I don't know, have that much I just breath. brushed my teeth. It wouldn't work if I came back like in the morning. Or it's, Sonny's it's, got real gross morning breath. It doesn't have to do with the smell. We'll do it, it again. It has to do with the heat. All right. Because you know, so like usually a heat we, gun. We take a heat gun and we How pop hot do you think breath is? At probably 98 degrees. You don't think All it's right. hotter? Yeah, hit it again. Sunny, Sunny, help. <laughs> okay, it's been two days from day four, which was really day like 36. Let's check out this logo here. This is a logo we, we filled with ooze. All right, now I'm just gonna sand this baby off uh, to an 80 grit and we'll see what we got here. All right, let's, let's get going. Yeah. Okay, we got a new sandpaper here. This is some 3M extract. Uh, it's a Cubitron system, Cubitron 2. Let's try putting this on. Again, brand new, I haven't tried it. And it doesn't really seem to stick to this. It is not sticking to that. Does this smell 
Yes. What does it smell like? I don't know. What's that stuff when you have um, a canker sore? No. Oh. That is gross. <coughs> Quit it. Okay, just a scientific test we're going to do here. I'm going to use this other stuff. Whatever this, what brand is this? Diablo? Okay, I don't know if Diablo is better. Definitely doesn't smell. Maybe I was just using the uh, Cubitron in the wrong process. You know, maybe you're not supposed to use an epoxy. All right, up next. Before we even finish sanding the table, we gotta get these legs on. I need some custom legs made from where? A guy on the east side? Yeah. So go and see him if you want legs done. <laughs> I don't know I'll, who it is. You I'll, always go. I know. I know his actual name, but I don't think that's what he wants. <laughs> Anyways, go to the guy on the east side if you want um, some cool legs made. Now we have to, we're gonna place these, figure out where they're gonna go. Then we have to route out this little part here. Uh, I've never really tried that, so we'll just see how that goes. Okay, update. We decided to go two and a quarter inches in. I was going to try to tape some plexiglass down so it'd have something to ride on, but it turns out it's actually perfect if uh, you just hold your finger here, okay, and ride against that line of your hand, okay? Okay? What? You just have to hold it there. That seems safe. And then I can run it back and forth. Okay. Okay? Yeah, that seems safe. Okay, cool. Let's get going. What are you doing? I'm here. Well, I'm never gonna run this right across your finger. I'm gonna get a piece of wood. I can do that. Okay. Oh yeah, that works. You have to. Okay. Well, nothing's gonna work then. Jeez. Okay. What a tool. Bye bye. So we're just gonna plunge route this. So we basically freehanded it, but, oh, looks fine to me. Cool. Again, that's the underside. This is where the table leg will go. I have to get my sunglasses. Okay, Krista uh, thinks she could do this better than me because she thinks she better, could color in the it lines. It took like 45 minutes to do two. To do, I'm yes. ready to go home. Oh, all right, we'll go for it. <laughs> Line. Got a little messed up at the beginning. That's actually really good. Looks like a good line. That's really good. Freehand. Chris's freehand. It looks fine, but I just put the one in. I put it in there, and it's big. Like this is big. Yeah, whatever. It's okay. That's you want me to do it? If you want. Or you want me to? No, go for it. You kept saying you're better than me, and now you I didn't a, say anything at you all. Made a huge gape or one. <laughs> massive. Uh, mine are nice and tight. No, they're not. Mine are real tight. They're no, real they're nice not. and tight. Yes, they are. Oh my god. No, look. No. It's, look at all that. No, it's just a little extra, a little wiggle room for that's wood stress. The wood breathes. Do you not know that? The whole pinky in there. No, the wood breathes. Yours is huge. Wow. <laughs> Massive gaper. Okay, cool. So yeah, you do the last one. I think it's, if we're gonna have gape on one side, we should have double gape. Okay. Okay. Making your breath jiggle. It is? Yeah. Well, maybe we'll get more likes for that. Okay. Yeah, like and subscribe. Okay. <laughs> Let's drop it in, drop the legs in, see if it fits. 
Is it in? Yeah. This one I did better. This is about the same as yours. This no, actually, that's the same as yours too. That's just a pinky. This is probably the best one. No, you're using your big pinky. You have two. You have a fat pinky. I have two different size pinkies. Yeah, everybody knows that about you. <laughs> yeah. Um. All right. Well, good job. Oh wow! Thank you. Uh. All right. I mean, it does. Let's see if mine wiggles. Nope. Yeah, it does. No, I'm trying. It's, it won't wiggle. Well, not like that. You gotta screw it down. I was, screwing, I was going back and forth. No, you're using a strong hand. <laughs> All right. Okay, we are back for day four of. We're in the middle of day four, actually, now that I think about it. All right, so we've got our table, we've got our things squared out. I was gonna put the legs on today, but I have these screw inserts. Apparently ran out, so I've had to order some more. But what we can do today is, I'm gonna put this, I've got this insane bit here. I don't know what that is. What do you think that is? There we go, look at this bit, okay? So this bit is going to give us a nice, what is that called, a chamfer on the bottom? We're gonna chamfer the bottom. Uh, this could completely ruin the table and make it look like ass. Um, so I'm not sure how this will turn out. It's also insanely close to the inside here, if you could see that to where it could possibly hit. Uh, so hopefully it won't. And that is a, that's a pube away. Whew. Okay, what do we think? Do we like it? I mean, I'm gonna have to run it over again, but I think I like that. I think it looks pretty cool. It's gonna go all the way around. Yeah, and it worked. Okay, cool. Okay, guys, I don't wanna come off like, you know, like conceited or anything, but that looks fucking sweet. Look at that edge. Okay, this is pretty, <coughs> this is, okay, this is pretty simple. We're just gonna put a little round over on the top all the way around. I'm gonna be doing a lot of sanding now, okay? I'll return once it's sanded. <laughs> Get it? Sanding. That's it. Okay, here we are at the end game. Okay, so now up next. Too intense? Those are very Okay, intense. well I'm just excited because we're about done. Screaming. We're at the very last day of stuff, unless something goes wrong. <laughs> uh, so now we just have to put these threaded inserts here into the table, and that's gonna be where our legs are in. You know, you gotta have something in there, in the wood, because you don't want it to strip away. So for this, we're using this baby. What is that? This is the ultimate dad drill. Every dad has this. You can only gain it, you can only get it like three different ways. One, you have a kid, okay? Okay. Two, you beat a dad in hand-to-hand -hand combat. Okay. Or three, you get it from a garage sale after oh. a dad has passed on. I'm not gonna explain which way. Yeah, because they don't way. make that. Well, I right? know, but it's powerful. That's kind of scary. That part's not supposed to be spinning. The reason we're oh. using this really is because of this. It's you know, it can make a... This will be totally straight. Okay, let's go. It's not going down. <laughs> Do I have it turned on in reverse? There we go, I had it in reverse. Okay, here we go. That's a great question. So we have tape here, and a lot of people ask. They go, hey, Tombstone, what's with that tape? Well, it's a little thing I invented. Um, it tells you. <laughs> there you go, that's fine. There you go, it tells you when to stop. They go, hey, hey, Tombstone, what is this? Well, that tells you when to stop. Because I've done it once where, well, I actually had the tape on, but the tape moved. Yeah. I was using some cheap tape. How Krista you know? picked out some cheap tape. How do you know it's not going to move? We don't. Oh, okay. um, and one time, because because Krista picked some cheap tape, we went right through the table. I did that? 
Yeah, because I only pick, I get good tape. Yeah. Okay. What's this tape? You just kind of found this tape. So. It's Quinn's tape, so I'm pretty sure it's good. <laughs> All right. Let me take our threaded insert right there. Okay, now we just gotta do that like 11 more times. I think we're so close to being done. They're on. They're all in. Now, up next, here we go. Pretty cool. Now, we have to sand. Now, sand what? Just, we got to sand to 220. We were at 120, we've water popped, and now we just have to get to 220. All right, now this, I'm gonna teach, I'm gonna teach you guys how to use this here. Check it out. Since this, we have this really straight edge, I don't want to use, um, no. I don't want to use that, you know, the sander, so we got to do this. Now, I'm going to show you guys how to do this by letting Krista do it, and I'll kind of explain what she's doing. She's never done it before, so everybody's going to kind of learn together, okay? Oh, good. Yeah, so she's going to kind of sand this whole table by hand while I kind of shout out directions. This is like this old-timey, what's that guy you like? That old-timey guy? With hand, the mustache. Hand tool man? Yeah. Yep, pretty good stuff. So you just gotta do that forever. Well, is this part done? I don't, does it feel done? I don't know. Does it feel nice? Not really. Oh. Not really at all. Yeah, you could go much faster. Yeah. It's actually nice that I'm taking my, it's nice that I'm taking the time out of my day to teach you guys how to do this. So that's pretty cool of me. So you just do that. You're gonna go around all, you're gonna have to do a lot of edges. So it's gonna take a little bit. My arm hurts. Uh-huh. <laughs> That's my life, guys, you know? <laughs> you know I'm with jacking off? Oh my god. <laughs> no, when she's doing it to me, I mean, my arm doesn't get tired. Okay. She was kind of doing it wrong, just by going so slow. She just doesn't have the practice, you know, guys? You know what I mean? It's talking about, I'm talking about jacking off again. again? Is this what the channel's about now? It's a, it's a, it's a thinly veiled ch uh, channel teaching you how to jack off, but using wood stuff, all right? <laughs> Different kind of techniques on how to jack off better. Okay, this is it. This is the most it it's ever been. We've got it. We've got our Phillips head screwdriver. Now we're just gonna screw our legs in, flip it over, sand the top to 220, then we're gonna finish it, then we're gonna go home and never think about it again. Let's wrap this baby up. It's go time. We got some Rubio Mono Coat here. It's a two coat hard wax mono coat, one coat system. I believe it's a hard wax. Why'd you say two coat at the beginning? No, no, two part. Oh, okay. Two part, one coat. Let's do it. Here we go. This is gonna really make this baby shine. Oh yeah, cool. Oh, that's pretty cool. Oh, I like that. Oh, wow. All right, now we're gonna just, you put this on. It's pretty simple. And you take this, and you just move, oh wow, look at that color pop right there. Wow, it's coming alive. Um, you just put this on, and then you let it basically let it sit for 15 minutes, and then wipe it off. It couldn't be more simple. That's it. Now, we might do a second coat, uh, depending, sometimes the wood's thirsty. It just soaks it up. It drinks this stuff. It's parched. All right, so we just gotta basically buff this. Now, some people use a buffer. I don't have that. I got pure muscles and Krista's, <laughs> so, um, so that's what I'm going to do. It's really important you really buff, so, um, and if you see anything, you just kind of point it out and you go, okay, that part's not, like right there. Good job, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, so that is basically how to make an epoxy coffee table. It only took two months. You could do it if you want. Uh, if you like what you saw, you know what? Hit subscribe, you know? I only said it once, right? I don't think I ever said it. So I think I said it once. Oh, so, okay. Yeah. Or buy a sweatshirt. Check them out. They're at this website right here, charlieswoodshop.com. Okay. <laughs>
<laughs> all right. Selling You're selling the sh shirts? Yeah. <laughs> Um, all right, so yeah, we have these available. It's our website is charlieswoodshop.co. I couldn't get .com. So if you go to charlieswoodshop.com, that's some other guy that wouldn't sell me his website. I tried. Hey, thanks for watching. There it is, our table. You know what? I think I'm gonna go take it out. I'm gonna take it out front and take some glamour shots. I think that's how I'll end this.